Good day, eh? And welcome to Saturday, which means we've got sentries to look at. That's right, sentry placement Saturday. And today we will be covering point B. Now let's take a quick overview of our map. So, point B starts from that metal plate Mission begins and goes through seconds. these tunnels where there's lots of winding paths. This cliff ledge, this hill, this little side window house, this outpost, in ten seconds. and this porch, where the track cap Four, ends right there. Three, two, one. So let's start with up here on our hill. Now, first place mint is right here. This sentry gives us coverage from a bit of a good angle here. As you can see, it's hard for a sniper to get a good angle. However, you can't counter him with the Wrangler. But it also causes a choke point up here. If your team's able to hold here and keep people down from over there, you're able to hold over here and up top because when the enemy jumps, your sentry's going to lock and away they're going to get blown back. And if they try to walk through, they've got walls that the explosives are going to catch on and they're going to get tagged in here, held back. Not very good escape. This entry place gives a good feeling and if you have your dispenser set up here with your rescue ranger you can keep your gun going for a bit and you give your allies a place to hide. Now when it comes to weak points once again snipers can have at you from that one angle so if you hide yourself well, you can get away from that angle. However, a good sniper will be able to get you through these little holes here with their shots. Also, you leave yourself open behind here. Enemy can come up here, get angle on your gun, and just fire some stickies or that. So your team needs to hold this tunnel. You're also vulnerable from behind the rocks and along the cliff ledge and using these rocks as an angle to get at the gun. And your biggest worry will always have to be spies coming up from behind here. They have many paths that they can take even from along the side here. So you need to constantly Keep an eye on your back. Other than that, this place gives you some good angles to cover your hill, above, a little doorway. So if you have a good team, them holding there, watching your back, you can cover a whole side just by yourself. Overall, it's a pretty fair public game sentry spot. However, you need to be prepared that if your team's losing point A, that you may want to move it up here ASAP. So our next spot is over above the cart here. Now when you build along here, you'll get that building look glitch. Or, that's out of mind. So with this sentry spot, we cover above the cart, which a lot of people coming out of tunnels don't look up. They simply just run out. This can save you from two things. Sentry gun and spies. We also cover the side tunnel, that building window, 
and this cliff ledge. Now our weak spots consist of this rock, which leaves us open to spy attacks. This part of the cliff ledge, which gets us trapped by sticky spam. And any class who can aim well seconds. from this tunnel while peeking. The spot is pretty decent, and with our Wrangler we can cover around the outpost and along our designated zone, and any people who decide to use the car as cover, you can fire off some sentry rockets, run up, and give them a good old lead hug. So it's not a bad place, Maybe however, if you get caught seconds. behind here repairing your sentry, they're probably going to target you over anything, so a rescue ranger is advised for this place. Using a wrangler to give it a shield while you heal it, then fire on your enemy is your most optimal weapon loadout for this position. Overall, not bad. So, our next sentry position is right underneath this house here. But we don't want it completely under. We wanted to give it coverage of all around the Ken. So we build it here. We give ourselves an anti sight line from snipers. We give our ability to heal with the rescue ranger if we want to. And we give ourselves some optimal strategies with the Wrangler where we can duck in and out of cover to hide ourselves from any snipers. And we give ourselves the ability to counter anyone who may want to stick their nose out to shoot at our sentry from those high places. Now, when it comes to weak spots, this whole area here it's a pretty big weak spot because it allows your enemy to come along this cliff ledge. However, your sentry will give you a heads up if it's not already firing at something. It'll beep and twist towards us. And over here, giving you the biggest warning you have to, okay, something's coming, duck out of here, and be prepared to heal the sentry. Or wrangle it and take down whatever's your threat. Because anything that comes from behind there, we're able to counter fire at with our wrangler. Same with along this ledge. Our next big weakness is distance spam. Rockets, snipers, all get free shots at our sentry pretty much any angle they want to. That's where our Wrangler comes in handy because we're able to cover these positions and scare away the enemies. Your biggest worry though will have to be demo pipes or sticky bombs coming up from here. From here, the rollers and that will do their work. And if you're caught underneath here, close to your sentry while they're going off, you're going to take some damage too. Overall, it's not a bad little spot. Easily spammable, but it's great for covering the cart as it's coming up that tunnel and covering some of the cliffside. Overall, not too bad. So our next spot... here. Now the reason for building it on the staircase, your enemy can't easily walk up the stairs. They have to jump around making themselves more obvious that they're a spy because your teammate will just walk up and through the gun. So this double says two things, a sentry and a spy detector. Now, lazy spies will just come and zap your gun. 
However, doing that in front of your team is probably not the most advised thing that they could do. So, on to what this covers. This gun covers a good portion of the map. It covers people coming out of that little side tunnel over the hill and people walking up that cliffside. With our Wrangler we're able to cover much more distance to back people up off that hill or surprise people coming out of that tunnel with some rockets. However, this leaves us with a bit of a conundrum. Where do you hide? Well, the obvious answer would be in here. Because out here, a sniper will gladly pick you off, and anything from down there will spam up at you if you're standing close to the ledge. However, if we hide in here, we still face the problem of people spamming from there as demo men. With spamming from that tunnel, it gives us a pretty bad time. This is where your team comes in. They have to control down along here. If they can't control here, and a bit of up here, then this sentry spot's going to fall pretty easily, if not well practiced enough with it. So your, your best bet would be build your dispenser by the doorway here, leaving yourself enough room to walk by in case of emergency. However, it still gives you a spot to rescue ranger your gun as much as you can. And if you're ever caught out here and you need to escape, around you go. Or if you're really sneaky and good at jumping, you can catch on to those ledges there. It's easier to do as a scout but it is still possible. It's all about your timing and angling. Mission ends in a bit of practice seconds. and you'll have it down in no time. For me, Medic. I'm still working on it. <laughs> but I have seen it done. See? And then, back in the window you go. Build up a level one. Surprise them if they come in here. Guess you drop the level one. Drop back out. Continue on your way. Overall, it's a fair public game one. You wouldn't see it in Highlander. Now we're going to look at our last one for the outside area. Now you'd think putting it out here would be smart. It isn't. Putting it over here would be smart. It isn't. You want that slight bit of angle here. Because if you jump off to go defend the cart, you want to be able to get back up here. Mission and it also deters people from peeking as well. This entry spot is the most seen in Highlander and public games. It's been tested, it's powerful, and with your team going to be around this area, it will work. Mission begins in now the biggest flaw to this is the sentry gun doesn't reach over there. Four, three, two, so this is one. where your wrangler comes in and the snipers or soldiers, anyone who decides to use that cliff facing can get a face full of lead. The strong point of this sentry position is it covers over around this area up towards that house, meaning if someone gets trapped up there, they're up there. Your Wrangler, level 3 rockets, fire against the wall, scare them. It deters people from trying to use this window, however it is still possible for them to use it. If you've seen my offensive videos with Mr. Paladin on this map, you'll see that I use that window a lot for level 3. This positioning here prevents me from setting up a level 3 further out to cover more of your deck. So this is a good deterrent for anyone in that window. Now the way that it will most commonly be used to take out your sentry position is Demo Man, 
demo man however our wrangler can peek up to splash him so he can't use this back wall to his advantage uh... ubered heavy Uber demo man Uber heavy and demo man sniper direct hit soldier those are pretty well the big ways that your gun will be taken out the small ways will be a spy comes up from behind here stab zap run or a bonk scout come distract the gun and teammates move in and take out the gun. However, if you're dealing with the Bonk Scout, a uh, Wrangled Sentry will easily deter that. Because the Bonk Scout can't do anything while you're wrangling your gun, and on top of it, it works pretty well. Now, you can counter Ubers that jump out from the window or off that platform. If you're quick enough with your Wrangler out, and you blast them while they're still in the air, they will be sent flying towards the cliff and sometimes right off the cliff ledge. So this is your most tried and true tested sentry spot. It works, it's efficient, your team's around you, and it's the most tried tested Highlander position too. It's well worth using. So on to our next one. I'm moving this. Pick this up. We're going to start moving into the tunnels now. So, when we hit the tunnels here, we will want to build our sentry up here. Go on, get. Up on this platform. Now, up here, we're able to get focus down on anyone raining through there, trying to come along the tunnel, trying to come along the steps. This gives us protection by sitting here, However, this sentry spot is very flawed against a very well-trained team. A well-trained team could take this out without even having to use an Uber. Problems with it? Come along down through this cliff ledge and sticky spam up. Even E e even a pill can, a well placed lock and load pill. If you're up here and that pill comes, you're going to scream and run from your sentry. The other annoyance is come down and around once again and sticky spam up through here. Or if a soldier wants to get hold of it, strafing along the wall, rocket, rocket rocket it's gone so this is very flawed of a place however against a public game a lot of players don't know how to deal with a sentry that's along there and they lose the game just because oh that sentry's too strong we can't get through it well, it, you can break through any sentry you just need to figure out what class for it and where to angle yourself Th this this place has so many places that it can be taken out from. It can even be taken out from here. Uber comes in with a demo man. There, sentry gone. Not much else you can do. Like this, this area is so easy that nearly any class can take it out if they do it right. Sniper, sniper peak. There, oh, engineer's gone. 50 damage to sentry. 50, 50, 50. 50 dead sentry. It is possible. Or if you're running the huntsman. Poke, huntsman. Poke, dead. Poke, there goes the engineer. See, th this sentry spot, very flawed. I wouldn't recommend it except for in public games. So our last sentry placement for inside that's actually useful it's down around here actually right at the cliff ledge this contains a lot of surprises for the enemy one it covers the cart across there so they're forced to go along one side which makes it easier for your sniper to fire along get headshots because the enemy's crouched hiding 
slow, easy to pick off. Five, also makes four, great for your, three, your pyros two, to jump five. down, backburn the enemy while they're pushing these carts. Because they're going to be more focused on where the cart is to protect them from that sentry versus, oh, pyro came down and burned me. Their choice is pretty limited to be shot to death, be burnt to death, or face a sentry gun. The next bit is anyone who jumps down here for the health and ammo pack. They jump down, they're not going to expect a sentry right there at their health pack. They're going to be, oh, health pack, I'll go on. Oh, I've been shot to death or off this ledge by a sentry. They'll never know it coming. Never see it coming, never knew it was there. It, it, it's great surprise. If you really want to an annoy people, put it right on top of the health pack. Only your team has access to that health pack. You don't, but your team does. What this allows you to do is you build a dispenser along this cliff ledge where it's safe for you. Your team gets access to that health pack. You still have access to the ammo pack. The enemy team has access to a sentry gun. This place is great for surprises. However, downside is once people catch on, it is an easy takeout with sticky bombs and pills, followed by a well timed uber press with a heavy, or even a demo man or soldier. Even a soldier can play Nikki with it, but since the sentry's facing towards the cart, it's going to find him faster than it does having to rotate around to get to him. And it has one really big flaw to a smart player. They come along here and look down at it. However, if they mistime their step, they can meet sentry fire because they're not going to have time to easily get back up there, and if they fail, they get pushed back into the sentry as well. So you can see, it, it's not a bad spot, however, players who know what they're doing will be able to take care of it. It's, a, once again, a public game spot. Easy enough to avoid it, easy enough to get around it, however, if you're not paying attention or expecting it, you're going to be caught off guard and it's really going to punish you for it. So, that takes care of Sentry Placement Saturday's point B. So I hope all of you enjoy this. If you want to learn more Sentry Positions, you can check out some of my older videos under the Sentry Placement playlist. And if you want more, subscribe! We have Sentry Placement videos every Saturday and tutorials every Thursday and gameplay throughout the rest of the week whenever I get footage. So, I'd like to thank you all for coming out and watching Sentry Placement Saturday. Next week, Sentry Placement Upward C. See you all next time. Build something in the next.